to uh, welcome you to this evening's uh, town council meeting. If we, uh, all please rise to salute the flag. Okay, thank you. Okay, which is our usual routine in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 20. I have to alert everybody to the fact that we are both uh, videotaping and recording this evening's meeting. Is there anyone in the audience who is doing the same or recording? Okay, seeing none. Otto, could you take a roll? Certainly. Councilor LaFlamme. Present. Councilor Griffin. Councilor O'Brien. Here. Councilor Eager. Here. Councilor Clune. Here. Councilor Smith. Present. Councilor Powers. Present. Councilor DeSefano. President Sullivan. Here. Thank you. As we go to the agenda and you've had a chance to review it, we are going to take no action on the council budget tonight. I noticed um, a couple of typos which will be corrected and we'll wait for uh, Councilor DeSefano to come back who's chair of the, um, the council's budget committee. So other than that, I'll entertain a motion for approval of the agenda with that amendment. I'll move to approve the agenda. Second. Okay, any other discussion on the motion? Okay, seeing none, we'll go to a vote. Councilor LaFlamme? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor Clune? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Powers? Yes. Councilor Sullivan votes yes. It's unanimous. Thank you. Okay, public hearings this evening. We have a few. Um, Councillor Powers, you want to start us off? You have to. Mm -hmm. uh, move to open the public hearing to consider the proposed general ordinance amendment, Chapter 7 37, Veterans Advisory Board. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? I assume there will be none. The public hearing is open. Anyone from the audience like to address the council? on this issue. Okay, seeing none, I don't know if any counselors have any questions relative to this. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Move to close the public hearing. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, we'll go to vote. Councilor Powers? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Clune? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor LaFlamme? Yes. I vote yes, it's unanimous. Thank you, the public hearing is closed. Okay, we have two other public hearings before us related to utilities. I'll move to open the public hearing to consider the utility petition submitted by Eversource Gas for gas main replacement on Oakland Street. Second. Moved and seconded. Um, is the petitioner here to give us a quick overview? If you come up to the microphone, state your name and give us the overview would be appreciated. Good evening, counselors. My name is Pat Vincenti. I'm an engineer at Eversource Gas. Do we need the uh, address? Used to give that. No, okay. no, we know where it is. Uh, here to propose two replacement projects on Oakland Ave, excuse me, Oakland Street in West Springfield and Main Street. Um, both of these streets are planned for future paving by the DPW department. So ahead of that paving, we'd like to get in and replace our gas main. Uh, the current gas main is cast iron, low pressure, and we're going to replace it with um, plastic, high pressure gas main, um, so that the existing gas main is not affected by the pavement. Okay, so we're just going to talk about the. Um uh, Oakland Street at this point. Um, Connor, do you have anything to add to this um, this work or from the city side? This is on Oakland Street. For the Oakland Street uh, Eversource uh, gas job, uh, other than the usual conditions uh, for this project, the town has uh, no special comment. Okay. All right, thank you. Any uh, question from the public? Any counselors have any questions of the petitioner? Okay, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Move to close, close the public hearing. <coughs> Second. Moved and seconded. Any Second. discussion on the motion? Okay, seeing none, we'll go to a vote. Councilor LaFlamme? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor Clune? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Powers? Yes. I vote yes, it's unanimous, thank you. All right, let's go now the second one here. Um, I'll move to open the public hearing to consider the proposed utility petition 
submitted by Eversource Gas for a gas main replacement project on the following streets, Main Street, East School Street, Bell Ave, Allen Street, Colton Avenue, Burf and Burford Avenue. Second. We've been seconded. Okay, why don't we talk about this one? <clears throat> sure, very similar project to the Oakland Street project, um, existing cast iron gas main on Main Street and the other listed streets. Um, that scope is within the town's plan paving um, scope for the next coming year. So we'd like to replace that gas name with classic main ahead of pavement as well so that it's not disturbed by pavement. Okay. Um, Connor, can we get the opinion of our town engineer, city engineer? Okay, so for the Eversource uh, Gas Massachusetts petition for work in the Main Street uh, area of town, uh, we have reviewed the plans and there are no objections foreseen for the project and will be acceptable with the following conditions. And this is on top of the usual conditions that the town requires as part of the permitting process. Uh, the first is um, on Bell Ave. Uh, there is approximately 154 feet um, of pipe. Um, that is shown placed on the western side of the proposed mm -hmm. abandoned four inch cast iron pipe. The town's requesting that it uh, be moved to the easterly side to stay away from the water main. And um, on a similar uh, note on Burford Ave, there's about uh, 683 proposed um, feet of um, uh, new pipe there that uh, runs roughly um, parallel but within close proximity to uh, an established sewer main. Uh, the town's just asking that it be shown uh, to be laid as far as possible while also maintaining a respectable distance from the existing water main. Uh, the town has spoken with Eversource about this and it seems like both of these requests uh, can be um, worked into the plans and revised. Okay. Can Eversource confirm that? Is this Yep, Eversource can confirm we've been in contact with the town and those are no problem. Okay, thank you. And when does uh, this project propose to be underway? Uh, this project is planned to start in late spring and carry through to roughly the fall time. Okay, during the uh, warmer weather then. Okay, Correct. Councillor Powers. Uh, this seems kind of like a bigger scope than uh, the last project. Uh, there is information that goes out to people in those neighborhoods about the timing and if they're going to be out without gas for a period of time? Yep, absolutely. About two weeks ahead of construction, there's a mailing letter sent out to all the customers that are impacted, and the services are tied over one at a time, so the new service is installed, and they're without gas for about four hours, and they're notified of that ahead of time. I think just one more. Um, so on those streets where you're going to be moving some of the pipes, do you foresee those streets to be shut down for any period of time, or would be at least one way maybe going on? Yeah, there will always be one lane of traffic uh, kept open, and on the smaller side streets, it's possible that sections are shut down, but they um, are shut down in a way that traffic flow is not inhibited. Thank you. Okay, any other councilors? Councilor Eager? Um, I believe our engineer mentioned his conditions on Buf or, uh, Buford Ave, and in regarding the sewer uh, pipe, uh, do you know if that's the, there is a legacy pipe that, um, that I know has been a problem. Is the pipe, the sewer pipe that we're talking about, the new pipe or the legacy pipe? And this might, this might be a question for our engineer. Uh, just to clarify, you're looking to see if the sewer pipe is considered a legacy pipe or the no, water pipe? No, so there, there is a legacy pipe to, is this on that ro road around 40 Buford? It's been a problem. Um, and I'm just wondering if we, uh, the pipe that you're talking about to avoid is that legacy pipe or the new sewer pipe. And um, while they're in there, is there any chance that they ma map that old pipe? Um, I'm unaware um, as to whether or not um, the pipe that uh, they're looking to uh, put their pipe in is the legacy pipe or not, I'll uh, check into that. Okay. Um, if it's exposed, we can certainly make note of it um, in our records. All right, I'll, I'll send you information from the former owner of that property. Understood. Okay, thank you. Any other counselors? Okay, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Move to close the public hearing. Second. Move and second it. Any discussion on the motion? Okay, seeing none, we'll go to a vote. 
Councillor Powers. Yes. Councillor Smith. Yes. Councillor Clune. Yes. Councillor Eager. Yes. Councillor O'Brien. Yes. Councillor LaFlamme. Yes. And I vote yes. It's unanimous. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll Thank you. Vote on it later on in the evening. Okay. Uh, public comment. Any uh, anyone with us this evening would like to address the council on any issues that will not be uh, having a public hearing held on it? Good evening, councilors. My name is Sue Ellen Pevlin. I live at 86 Oxford Place, apartment B in West Springfield. And I'm here to talk about the Midnight Congregational Church fundraiser with the Thunderbirds. And that is going to be taking place Sunday, April 3rd, 205, versus the Bridgeport Islanders. And the exclusive $19 attack zone ticket for all members of Midnight Congregational Church, families and friends. Place your place order by April 2nd to receive discounted tickets, ticket rate. Optional $3 food voucher includes hot dog, soda, and popcorn. And if you have trouble logging on to the code on the paper, or if you have trouble on the website, just give Lauren Blanchard a call on the paper and she will take care of you. And we also have disability tickets available because I found out from Lauren and she said, just let us know if anybody in your families has a disability and can't walk up the stairs, and she will take care of them. So I hope to see you counselors at the game. It's going to be great. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anyone else like to address the council? Please come up, state your name and address for the uh, record. Hi, uh, my name is Sarah Turkman uh, from 707 Main Street, Star Pizza. I had a question about the gas main project. Are they going to disconnect the gas for a certain period of time, or how is that going to work when they're replacing it? Yeah, so that would have been a great question during the public hearing, but as it, I'll, I'll see if I can field that. They are going to shut down. They'll notify the, uh, mm -hmm. the residents or the businesses. They'll send out a letter, and they'll schedule it, and it'll probably be shut down for four hours. So once you get the letter, I would encourage you to contact um, Eversource and uh, schedule it so it doesn't interrupt your business. Okay. And right. I think the gentleman's back there. Okay, I'll ask him. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anyone else? Okay. Seeing none, we'll move down the agenda to the approval of the minutes. Um, February 22nd, 2022. Actually, I'll move approval. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion on uh, approving the minutes? Okay, we'll go to a vote. Councillor Powers? I will abstain absent. Councillor Smith? Yes. Councillor Clune? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor LaFlamme? Yes. And I vote yes. Thank you. Okay. Any uh, communication, petition, remonstrances from any of the councilors, whether you're a subcommittee chair or not? Anyone? Okay. We will go to our student rep, Kieran, here with us this evening. Appreciate you coming, as always. Thank you. Good evening. Um, so I do have a couple of things to share with you all tonight. Um, firstly, I know that a lot of parents and seniors have been a little worried about um, what their senior year would look like, myself included. Um, I know a lot of people had their graduations or proms taken away due to um, COVID in the past couple of years, but um, I was really happy to hear, and I'm sure a lot of the townspeople will be as well, that graduation will be on this year and taking place again at the Coliseum on June 5th. So we're all really excited about that, and prom has also been set in stone at the lodge on May 27th. So we have a couple of details to nail down, um, but we're all really excited and we're confident that it's gonna be great. And we're excited to just be having one in general. Um, so that was the first thing I wanted to share. And then secondly, I have a couple of announcements about the high school sports. Um, we have a couple of big things that have been going on. Firstly, our cheerleading team um, did just win regionals. So they're gonna be heading, um, continuing on in the season and we're excited to see all that they're gonna be doing. 
Um, and then another really big piece of news for our wrestling team. Um, after an undefeated season, Musa Tamaradzi has won New England and will be moving on to the national championship. So that's a huge thing for the wrestling team um, in all of West Springfield history. So we're really, really excited for him. And then lastly, I just wanted to share with you all kind of the students' perspective of what the environment has been like at the high school since the mask mandate has been lifted. Um, so I was really nervous going into this, hearing that the date had finally come, just wondering what it would look like. I was worried that there would be judgment whether I took off my mask or whether I chose to leave it on. Um, and so I was really worried to kind of see what that would look like, but I wanted to share with you all how happy I've been and how excited I have been to see all of the students and the way that they've stepped up, I really haven't seen any judgment um, to those who've chosen to wear masks or the, to those who've chosen to take them off, um, including the teachers. There's been teachers who've chosen to go both ways and I haven't seen any judgment or discrimination against students who've chosen um, to do the opposite. So I've been super encouraged by that and I feel like it's really a testament to West Springfield High School and the culture that we have at the school that students can feel comfortable to do whatever it is that they need to feel safe and comfortable in their own skin and not feel um, fear of being judged by their peers. So I wanted to share that with you all. I thought that would be an encouraging piece of news. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good news. Okay. Councilor Powers. Let's get into some uh, ordinance uh, script here, if we could. Of course. Move to approve the proposed general ordinance amendment to Chapter 7-37, Veterans Advisory Board, to insert, <clears throat> to insert or be a Gold Star family member to paragraph one of section 7-37A, membership, membership and purpose, the amended paragraph to read, there shall be a Veterans Advisory Board, the board consisting of seven members, four of whom shall be veterans as defined in Mass General Law Chapter 115, section one, and all of whom shall either be residents and registered voters of the town or be a member in good standing of a recognized non-governmental support organization also called NGSO, that provides support for residents of the town or be a Gold Star family member appointed by the mayor subject to the provisions of section 2-10 of the West Springfield Home Rule Charter. Second. Moved and seconded. Councilor Powers, did the uh, subcommittee take a position on this? We did. We voted on this tonight, three to nothing in favor. Okay, great. Any other discussion on this item? Okay, we're ready to vote. Okay. Go to a vote. Councilor LaFlam. Yes. Councilor O'Brien. Yes. Councilor Eager. Yes. Councilor Kloon. Yes. Councilor Smith. Yes. Councilor Powers. Yes. I vote yes. It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Councilor Kloon, did we have anything from the HR committee? We do. I'd move to approve the appointment of Tracy Taylor to the Veterans Advisory Board with a term beginning March 8th, 2022 and expiring December 31st, 2022. Second. Moved and seconded. And Did the uh, committee take a position? Committee took a position two uh, to zero in favor of the appointment. Okay, great. Thank you. Any other discussion on the motion? Okay, we'll go to a vote. Councilor Powers? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Kloon? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor Laflamme? Yes. I vote yes. It's unanimous. Thank you. Councilor Powers, you want to move our uh, utility uh, petitions? Yes. I move to approve the utility petition submitted by Eversource Gas to perform gas main replacement work on Oakland Street. Second. Moved and seconded. Um, any discussion from the council? Okay, seeing none, we'll go to a vote. Councilor LaFlamme? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor Kloon? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Powers? Yes. And I vote yes. It's unanimous. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Powers, you're on a roll. You want to do the next one? Move to approve the utility petition submitted by Eversource Gas to perform gas main replacement work on the following streets. Main Street, East School Street, Bell Ave, Allen Street, Colton Ave, Burford Ave. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this motion? Okay, seeing none, we'll go to a vote. Councilor Powers? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Kloon? Yes. Councilor Eager? Yes. Councilor O'Brien? Yes. Councilor LaFlamme? Yes. I vote yes. It's unanimous. Thank you. Before we go to adjournment, I do want to um, uh, thank the mayor for uh, giving the uh, co each councilor a pin with the uh, town seal in the middle and the U.S. flag and Irish flag uh, on either side, and also to the, oh, our student rep who's gone. Um, so we appreciate that. 
I also want to um, remind the uh, councillors, since we won't be meeting before then, that uh, we will be marching in the um, St. Patrick's Day Parade in Holyoke. Um, you can go to line. I forward information on when we are in the lineup and the kickoff. And we will have a new banner this year. Um, so I'm hoping everybody will be encouraged to uh, go out and march behind it and represent uh, West Springfield. Um, so having said that, I don't have anything else to come before the council unless someone else does. No? Okay, I'll uh, make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, thank you, everyone. Appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you. Thank you.